My name is Gordon Krahovac. I'm a consultant spinal surgeon who works at the King's College Hospital in London and I'm also the spinal lead for a spine service at the hospital. The spinal surgery cannot be done without an adequate spinal retractor. The reason you need a good retractor in the spinal surgery is because it needs to remove the soft tissue away from the spine. It follows you from the beginning of the procedure till the end of the procedure. Why I think it's the best? It has all the benefits of the modern spinal retractor. The retractor is designed that it can conform with the use of the hinges to the external and internal human anatomy. It's extremely easy. It allows you to change the pivoting independently on the left or right side according to the normal anatomy or you needed it for that single patient. The use of the older versions of the spinal retractor usually requires bigger skin incision to achieve the same visualizations that the Hang 10 achieves. Also, the older spinal retractors, you always are fighting with the spinal retractor to put the retractor within the patients and you cannot control exact location of the placement of the blades during the deployment of the blades within the patient. The Hang 10 retractor is extremely easy to set up and it allows you to position the blades to the best anatomical positioning within the wound. The Hang 10 spinal retractor is composed of minimal number of the components you need during the surgery, so it's much easier uh, to sterilize, uh, use it during the surgical procedure and doesn't add any kind of more complexity on your daily work. Actually, it reduces it significantly. The design of the blades uh, actually is suited for a spinal pathology compared to the, any other uh, retractor system which don't have that opportunity. Its anatomical design of the blades will suit you best around the facet joints and which will not obscure retraction in the depth of the wound. The teeth of the blades of the hang tent retractor will allow you better retraction of the soft tissue above the joints and maximum removal of the soft tissue over the spine. The capability of the retractor that you can measure the depth of the wound significantly ease the process afterwards. You can choose specifically the blades with specific depths to the patients without additional trials. The historical retractors such as McCulloch on the, which is the most common on the market. They usually have a stainless steel blades, which will obscure the vision during the X-ray procedures and can obscure the important surgical anatomy, which is not the case in the Hang 10. The use of the blade handles, it's extremely easy to position them into the wound. It will allow you exact positioning of the blades where you want it, and it will allow you to actually not to cause too much stress on the surrounding tissue and uh, reduce the damage of the surrounding tissue during the placement of the retractor blades within the wound. The versatility of the retractor is extremely important to allow you to pivot around in, in the depth of the wound to give you the maximum access or the better visualization in the, in the depth of the wound. The hinges of the spinal retractor will allow you to conform to the human anatomy on the surface of the skin. The Hang 10 retractor and their lighting capabilities will actually remove the cross shadowing. It will actually deliver better visualization in the depth of the wounds compared to other products on the market, which are much older generations of the spinal retractors. Not only that this system is only uh, used for lumbar decompressions, lumbar fusions, you can use it for microdiscectomy, and I think it's much better, will give you the much wider exposure over the laminas and the facets than any other retractors on the system. The design of Hang 10 retractor is perfectly designed to help you to place the cortical screws, especially during the spinal fusions procedures. The Hang 10 changed my clinical practice. It made my life much easier during the everyday procedures in my clinical practice.